In this video, I will show you how to create this tab section using React and Tailwind. We have five different tabs and each one has a different content. We are going to create this from absolute scratch and I will be explaining every single line of code. So let's get into it. So to start the project, here I have my empty React project with Tailwind inside. I've created this project using Wheat. If you don't know how to create one, you can find this link in the description. And if you visit this documents of Tailwind's official website under install Tailwind CSS with Wheat, you can follow these steps. And as you can see, it shows how to create a project from complete scratch using Wheat and add Tailwind into it. You're gonna be able to set the project in a minute. After you create the project, don't forget to run it on the browser as well. So to start, let's first set this div as a background. I will set it to minimum age screen. That means minimum height 100VH. So this div is going to cover the entire page. Let's set the width to full with 100%. Let's make this one a flex container and center the items. Let's set a background gradient to right from purple 300 via purple 200 to purple 300. Now that we have a nice background, Inside this div, we can create the tabs section. Let's create a div. We're gonna set its maximum width to 500 pixels. Let's give it some rounded corners. Give it a background. And background color is going to be white. Padding of 8. So padding 2 rem on every direction. MX10. So margin left and margin right 2.5 rem let's give it a drop shadow shadow x large and space ui 5 space ui works just like gap but it creates the gap between the elements using margin top and margin bottom to be able to use gap you need a flex container but you can use space ui whenever you want without creating a flex container so inside this container, we're going to have two more elements. First one is going to be for the tabs that we are going to display. We need the tabs to be side by side. And when the viewport gets smaller, we want them to wrap inside this div. So we will set it to a flex container and set the wrap to flex wrap. Also, let's give it a border bottom as well. Right under this div, we're gonna have another one and this one is going to display the content under those tabs right now we are going to leave both of these divs empty because we don't have the content yet we also don't have the tabs we are going to display as well we are going to create them in separate ways so inside the components outside the return I will create a array named tabs. Inside this array, we are going to create the tabs as objects. And every object is going to have two properties. So this first one is going to be tab one. It will also have a label. And this is the part that we are going to display, such as home. Let's copy and paste it. This one is going to be about. This one is the second tab. Third, fourth, and fifth. Let's change the tab names. So now that we have the tabs to display, we also need the content. And we are going to create the content in a similar way. Let's create a object named tab content. Inside this content, we are going to return content for every single one of those tabs. So tab one, 
is going to return this div with a h2 and a paragraph margin bottom 3 let's make the text bigger and font bold let's put some text inside this paragraph margin bottom 2 so this is the first tab which is the home section let's create a second one tab 2 inside this div again we're gonna create a h2 let's say about us margin bottom 4 let's make the text bigger and font bold another paragraph let's put some space at the bottom and create this span element for the span we're gonna create a border left 4 so border left 4 pixel and let's make it purple 500 and padding left 4 and let's make this text italic right under the span let's create another lorem text margin top 5 let's create the third tab you can just copy and paste this h2 because the styling is going to be the same let's change this to our services create another paragraph So under this paragraph, you're going to have a grid that displays four cards. So let's create a div. Let's set it to a grid. And we're going to have two columns. So grid columns two and gap four. Inside, we're going to have four cards. The first one is going to have rounded corners background purple 100 padding 4 and let's center the text let's make the text bold under this gonna create a lorem text and let's make the lorem text smaller we can just copy and paste this three more times And the third tab is also done. Let's create the next one. This one is going to be the contact section. Margin bottom 4, text 2x large and font bold. Right under this, we're going to create a form. Let's give it space UI 4 to create some space between the elements. We're going to have two inputs. This one is going to have a placeholder of name. Let's set it to width 100%. Rounded corners, a border, and a padding of 2 gonna delete the outline and give it a ring gonna make the ring transparent and when you focus on this input and focusing means clicking on it you're gonna have the ring purple now let's copy and paste this one more time and change this one to email right under this we're gonna have a text area placeholder is going to be message let's set it to width 100% resize none rounded corners border padding of 2 
delete the outline and the same hover effects. So let's copy and paste this. Under the text area, let's create a button that says send. Let's give it rounded full, background purple 500 and padding X4, padding UI2. Make the text white and when you hover over it, background is going to be purple 600. And the final tab, tab 5. This one is going to be the frequently asked question section. Let's copy and paste those H2 and paragraphs. We don't need the paragraph, we can delete this. And create a div with space UI4. Inside, we're gonna have four cards. Let's create the first one with a H3 and font bold. I'm just going to copy and paste those text inside. If you wanna type down the same, just pause the video and type down the same things. So this is the first one. We can just copy and paste this three more times. And with this done, we have all the content that we are going to need inside this tab content object. We also have the labels of the tabs. We can scroll down inside those divs that we leave empty at the beginning. As I said earlier, you're going to display the tabs. And because the tabs is a array, we can just open up a set of curly braces and map over the array. And for each tab, we're going to create a button. We need to provide a unique key. So let's say tab ID. And for the styling of this button, we're going to use dynamic text. Because depending on if the button is active, we're going to apply some different styling and if it's not active we're gonna apply a different styling so using curly braces and backticks let's set it to px4 and py2 font semi bold let's use dollar sign and curly braces before we apply the logic we need to create a state to be able to make a button active and the others not. Let's scroll up. So I will create a state variable named active tab and set active tab as the setter function. As you can see, my VS Code automatically imports your state. If that doesn't happen for you, you need to import it from React at the top. So this state variable is basically going to have the information of which one of these tabs are active currently. And if you want to change the current active tab, we are going to use this setter function. So at the beginning, the first tab is going to be active. So inside this use state, I can type down tab one and tab one is going to be the active tab by default. And later on, when we change to the different tabs, we can update this state by using the setter function. Let's scroll down again. So inside this styling, if the active tab is equal to tab.id, this means if this current button is the active one, we are going to give it a border bottom two and make it purple also make the text purple as well and if it's not active we're going to make the text gray 500 
and when you hover over it gonna make the text purple 500 and using on click event handler gonna create a anonymous function to use the setter function and to make it a tab active you're gonna use the setter function as I mentioned using the tab ID also inside the button you're gonna display the tab label you can already see the labels in the background the only thing left is to display the content you're gonna put the tab content object and we are going to display the content according to the active tab let's see if everything is working fine and there you go looks like everything is in the right place everything looks fine so this is how we can create these tabs section using react and tailwind i hope you guys find it helpful and enjoyed it thank you for your time and i will see you next time